And as the silver and black play tonight, some members of Raider Nation say they were mindful of recent events off the field. 13 Action News reporter Jamie Chin spoke with fans at the first home game since a series of unfortunate events. Raiders fans have had to go through a lot over the past few weeks with all of the constant news off the field involving the team. They say they still support their team, but are also keeping their local community in mind. The Raiders are a rare team, a rare breed. Raider Nation continues to stand behind their team despite all the news that's happened this season. From the firing and lawsuit of former head coach John Gruden to the release of Raiders player Will Arnett over social media threats. We prevailed through all diversity. I mean, honestly, we've gone through so many things here in Vegas. Cisco Ortega is the president of the local Black Hole chapter. He says the most challenging time for the fandom came after the DUI crash that involved former Raiders wide receiver Henry Ruggs III earlier this month. 23-year-old Tina Tinter was killed in the crash. It's something near and dear to my heart where a poor 23-year-old child, young lady, died. Ortega says local fans banded together to raise money towards the Tinter family's GoFundMe. He says the Northeast chapters alone raised about $2,500 and that all of their hearts are with the family. We're not here supporting Henry Ruggs and his decision to get behind the wheel and do what he did. We're here to support the family and uh, I hope we're doing it well. Ortega says when it comes to whatever is happening on the field, he hopes the team remains focused. I just hope the Raiders organization, Coach Passaccia, has got the team in tune and, and let's just keep going. Ortega says he was glad to see Raiders owner Mark Davis attend the funeral of Tina Tinter. He says he hopes the Raiders will continue to work with the family. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.